That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. So the Matildas' dream of World Cup glory comes to an end at the hands of England. Bubs, it's been a tremendous tournament. I've enjoyed every single moment. But of course, it will still be a great final between England and Spain. Yeah, I was really proud of the girls. England really turned up. They probably played the best football I've ever seen them play. So it was fantastic. I was so proud of the girls, how they rose up to the occasion. So, Bub, strategically, it's a really fascinating matchup between England and Spain. Where's the game going to be won and lost for either side? Uh, it's got to be the midfield for Spain, you know, Bon Matti in there up against the uh, likes of Kira Walsh, uh, but also the players on the counter for both teams. Para, para Luelo Ooh, <laughs> very nice. for Spain well done. Um, is a really good substitute, but then Lauren Hemp, um, Tooney up top for um, England, it's, it's just quality all over the park. Who's going to win this one, do you think? Oh, I think it will be a draw at the end of, uh, you know, extra time, and I think Spain will come out with it. Arch, of course, England, they did win the Euros, so it sort of feels like potentially destiny in the making that they go all the way. Yeah, as Bob said, I thought that they turned up uh, for this match in particular, and I can't really see them uh, losing the final. I've got them 2-0. Ooh, 2-0. I do think it could be an absolute drumming from England. I'm going to go 3-0, and I like the idea of Lauren James. Of course, she had two games off, band. I like her for an anytime goal scorer. So, as we know, the Matildas won't be progressing to the World Cup final, but, Bubs, the story isn't over just yet. No, there's a bronze medal to play for. You want to you want to play for everything until the last minute. So we, we want this, right? We certainly do. It will do a lot for our rankings on the world stage. It's going to be a good game against Sweden. Where's this one going to be one lot? Well, I actually think it's the old, you know, teammates, Ericsson versus Kerr. And it's going to be that battle in defence and whether or not they can stop Kerr from getting on the scoreboard. And Archie, another little subplot, yes. of course, is the race for the golden boot. Yeah, um, there's two players that are equal on it. Miyazawa from J Japan. Um, she's obviously not playing in this one or in these next games, but for uh, Sweden, Ilstead, I know she's a defender, but they certainly get a lot of corners and she could be on the end of it and golden boot winner. Right, so final score predictions. I'm thinking 2 1 to Matildas. Great choice, I'm going that as well. Uh, yep. 2 2 1 for me too. She. Oh, <laughs> she, thanks, brother. <laughs> It's a good scoreline, though. Yeah, it's a great scoreline. Yeah, it's fair <laughs> enough. It's been just a fantastic tournament. I've absolutely loved every moment for so many reasons. What were your standout moments for you? Uh, Hayley Rasso in the ninth minute, slotting that home against Canada, sending us on our way to that 4-0 memorable win. Unbelievable. Archie? Yeah, look, for me, it's all these minnow countries that have done well. Philippines getting that first win <gasps> in their first World Cup. I love the sound when Sam Kerr ran on. Oh, as yeah. A sub. yeah this, it just was amazing. Can I change mine? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam Kerr went you ran on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us throughout the tournament. This has been the Kickoff Show. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.